to School of Dive Homeschooling. If you're looking to improve your session skills, learn some tunes and learn a Gaelic song, then you've come to the right place. Here's how these lessons are going to work. First of all, you'll hear the guys playing through a tune and then either Angus, Alistair or Gabe will teach it to you. Then we'll hand over to either Ross or Yogi who'll take you through the chords. Following that, everyone will play all together at full speed. Finally, you'll hear the melody without the accompaniment so that the chord players can try out some of their own variations. You can pause this video at any time and you can skip through any of these boring bits like this intro. Now, three things to remember, so I hope you're paying attention. Have a great time, play like no one is listening, and like and subscribe. So, let's dive right in. Here's Angus and Yogi teaching Foscal and Doris. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So let's get started with Foscal and Dudas. Uh, so it's a jig, so six, eight, think groups of three. Jiggity, jiggity is the rhythm that we're going for here. Um, so it starts on the G, I'll play the first phrase for you. And it finishes on the higher octave G. So let's play that a couple more times. One, two. Let's move on to the second phrase then. Second phrase starts on the same note. So it's going to be three G's in a row, or if you want to play one long G, that's all right as well. So I'll play it for you. And let's play that a couple of times together. One, two. So then let's try and put those two phrases together before we move on to the third phrase. So after two, one, two. Then moving on to the third phrase, it's the same as our first phrase. So it's going to go. And then going up to the high A, we're going to finish the, with, the, with the fourth phrase. So up from the high A. And those last three notes are you play them just if you're going to repeat the tune we'll come back to that later though so let's try that last phrase a couple of times one two
Great. Now, let's play that whole first part together. After two. So one, two. Excellent. So that's the first part. And you might have noticed at the end of that, I played a couple of notes. So these are the lead in notes for the second part. And the second part starts on a high E. So let's just get going with that. So the first phrase in the second part is going to be Play that a couple of times, nice and slow. One, two. And then the second phrase, back up to the high E again. and slow a couple of times over that. Um, let's play that whole that whole line so those two phrases together. Starting on the high E, after two, one, two. Great. So, on to the next phrase. So it starts the same and it's kind of a mixture of the um, the first bar of this part, and then it goes into the rest of the same line as the in the first part. So it starts on the E. So back up to that high G like we had in the first part. So let's try that a couple of times. One, two. And then we've got the same last phrase as we had in the first part. So up to that high A. And then we're back with those that B and the D are lead in notes for the second part. So let's play it a couple of times through the that phrase. One, two. Great. So that's the second part. Let's play it all together. One, two.
So there you have it, that's the whole tune. Before we go, um, if you're playing the whistle, it's a great tune for learning to play rolls on. So I'm just playing um, on the G's in, in the first part and on the E's in the second part as a note up and a note down, just for a wee bit of ornamentation, if you're into that kind of thing. practice on any note but the first part's got the, the loads of G's to do that and the second part you can play them on the E's on those high E's or you can use your tongue for those notes so on to the chords next Hi there folks, we're going to have a look now at the chords for the jig Foscal and Doris. If you want the melody uh, broken down, Angus Mackenzie has just taught it in a whistle tuition video. And uh, But we're going to look at the chords and we'll look at part A first. Um, and I find that this tune is kind of easiest broken down in two, four sections. Uh, are four phrases so I will play you them now so the the first section or phrase of the melody is the bit that sounds like this and then um, this is the second bit doesn't change too much and then our first section repeats itself as the third, so it just goes back to the start basically. And then our ending phrase goes like this. And yeah, and then you repeat the whole part. So uh, all our sections basically just have two chords and uh, we'll have a look at section one so that was the bit that went so over that section it's g for ages and then c and the way i kind of think of it is one and a two and a three then change so it's g and c it'd be like this And it's the same rhythm for the second part, the second uh, phrase, sorry. And but the only difference is, so you've gone, you go back to G, and then our our second chord changes. So instead of a C this time at the end, it is a D. So the second phrase sounds like this. And because our first and third phrases were the same. It's just the same as it starts. So our next phrase has G for ages and then a quick C at the end. And our last phrase is where it all completely changes. We go for E minor as our first chord and it lasts for ages and then we have a quick final D at the end to bring us back into the repeat of the part. So that bit would go Okay. So a quick reminder. First phrase goes G for ages and a quick C. The second phrase we're back to G for ages and then quick D and then our third phrase is the same as our first, so it's G for ages and a quick C again. And then our final phrase, we go to E minor for ages and then a quick D at the end. Okay, so we'll try and put all those uh, four phrases together, okay? So we'll go after two. One, two.
this with a repeat as well. So now what we'll do is we'll do a slow playthrough. Me and Angus will play this for you at a reasonable pace so you can have a practice along. Okay, see you for part B. We'll now have a we play through the first part slowly with the whistle. After two. So one, two. for Fosco and Doris. This time we are going to look at part B, the second part. And uh, in this part it's just as easy to break it down into four sections again. So our first phrase of the second part would be the bit that goes like this. And then our second phrase being this bit. And then this time the first and the third aren't the same, but there's not much difference. It just goes. And then we have, I believe, the same ending phrase as the first part. So this, this part takes a bit of a turn. It goes a, a lot more minor. So uh, our first phrase. We're up to E minor. But this time it's not for ages and then a quick chord at the end. It's sort of the, the phrase in half. So it goes E minor uh, for two. And then D for the second half. So we'll do that together. One, two. And then the beauty of this bit is the second phrase has the same chords as the first phrase in this part. So it's just that part is just repeated. So it goes. And because the third phrase is almost the same as the First, it's E minor and D again, but then we have a third chord. This is the first line that has three chords in it, so it goes. And it's up to C for that third chord, so. And then, since the whole the whole uh, second part has kind of been a lot more minor than the first part. You might remember that in the, at the end of the first part we were going to E minor and D. Well, we're going to kind of try and bring the brightness of the tune back. So we'll keep the D at the end, but instead of the E minor, we'll just stay on the C that we hit really quickly in the end of the third line. So the ending phrase this time is C and D. And it's just a quick D at the end to bring you back to the repeat of the part. Okay, so we'll try and put our second part four phrases all together with the repeat. Okay, 
So we'll go for this after two. One, two. start of the tune or the next tune okay there's the cards for Fusco and Doris what we will do is we will again have a wee play through at a reasonable pace for you to get that and then if you want to play the full tune up to speed there is a video of the whole band uh, playing it at full pelt so there we go Okay, we're going to try and play along with the whistles for the second part of Fuscal and Doris. One, two. Mm -hmm. 